greater, and even the Gragas able to poke a little bit, and always the threat of the Hecarim from the side. Well, the Nautilus also able to just blatantly start the fight with his depth charge. I'm very curious as to whether Easy Hood can stay alive in this game. Death's Jinx and no longer Faker's LeBlanc, but Faker's uh -oh. are really, uh oh, nice game coming in from Samsung, and Viz just goes in, there's the exhaust, so it's gonna do a lot, he doesn't have Playful Trickster, but he gets the first blood, he gets the level up, and the pot's going, wow. and he survives, wow. Very close, big investment, they have to use an extra summoner now, Thank you, gonna try and make a play on the bar in the top side. Kube's going uh -oh. in. Wow, yeah, he doesn't have an escape here. Oh, he's gonna be able to run out, but there's a chilly smite coming in. There's a flame spitter, and the lifesteal not really gonna be enough for Kube. And Bengi picks up a kill. Really greedy. And so they're gonna try and turn this around into another event. Oh, here and I go. think the ult went on him. He doesn't have flash. There's a body slam. That's gonna be an easy kill for Crown, and it can happen again for quite some time. Flash still down for Easy Hoon. Yeah. Rough situation. Now they're trying to turn this into an advantage for Marin. Let's see if they can get Kuve. No uh, level they, six for Hecarim. Yeah, Equalizer is here, and Kuve just trying to escape as much as he can. A lot of tower damage onto Marin, though Kuve might be able to actually turn this around. Bengi doesn't get it, but there's the Onslaught of Shadows, and an instant double kill. Kuve, such <laughs> excellent play, that little grin. And now the hook in bottom lane. We are seeing Here e comes level down. six, he's six, he's yeah, six. Yeah, Explosive Cask is there. Race is trying to last that as long as possible, and there's a Valkyrie for it, even with that exhaust. Fury might have gone a little too deep, but there's the Explosive Cask against the wall, though. P-bomb right as Ezreal flashes out. Gets the kill, and Samsung taking oh, a huge to an absolutely ludicrous power spike, and I don't know if SKT is going to be able to handle it. Kuve starting the fight on Jamar, and Bengi's going to show up, but here's Eve. He does have explosive cast. Nice equalizer, but equalizer or explosive cast all the way back towards the turret, and Kuve just able to put out auto attack damage, and Eve just going to pick up the kill there. Ooh, the true shot barrage almost hitting. Wouldn't have gotten the kill though. Or some even more kills here in the early game. Fury. Oh, and there's the hook onto Wolf. Wolf uses his Fissure, but it's not enough. Wraith gets the instant kill. Fury takes a lot of damage. Explosive cast going to be dodged by Bang. What's about to happen for Samsung. And I like that they keep playing aggressively here. Look at Crown going into the jungle. Oh, and there's the Onslaught of Shadows. There's a flash forward, the slow, and the stun from Wraith, and the hook. Marin just has been locked up. Kuve picks it up, and there's the Chum the Waters onto Bengi. An instant kill for Crown. This is what Fizz does if he gets the first blood. Valk over the wall. Yeah, Fury's gonna Valk over Flash and just trying to get some burst down. Eve has been slowed down, gets the barrel onto Bang, force the Flash out. That's no a dragon cast, for sure though. right here. Fury trying oh, to land whoa. those last oh. kill shots. Can't quite hit it. <laughs> Very close. Crown, meanwhile, just returning safely to lane, not giving Ezion a chance to counteract his kill. Ezion does have both summoners. Crown doesn't have the Flash. He's a little low on mana, but we have three people sure. Rage is getting closer for the depth charge. And there's a the Predator Vice gets dodged by Crown, and there's the burst coming in. Eve picks it up. This game is running out of control in favor of Samsung. That wave to make sure that it shoves back out and evens out a little bit. But the tower is pretty low. The turret's right there. Eve actually just goes ahead, gets the exposed cast, but the hook's not gonna hit. Crown turning things around, gets to chump the waters onto Wolf. It's not the greatest target. Equalizer actually coming in from Martin. Is this the turnaround from SKG? They do pick up one kill. Uh, they've taken out Najin, they've taken out the Ku Tigers without losing a game, but as Samsung giving them a lot more trouble. Here we go, tower dive. Range is gonna walk forward, gets the slow onto Mar, and he's still tanking the tower. Fury going ahead, and he. Valkyries forward for the kill. Kuve now tanking the turret, but actually they can't walk back through and Fury just takes a lot of turret damage as he turns around for a kill. Petrofrain gaze over the wall. Fury actually flashes back over into the turret and Kuve just trying to distract everyone as long as possible. Maybe pick up a kill onto Bengi. He's not gonna get it. Meanwhile, Bang gets a kill onto Fury. Things are getting really messy for Samsung right now. And you don't have Crown here, so Samsung is trying to buy as much time as possible. But they might give away way too many kills. Crown trying to make this worth it by taking the tier two in mid. Wraith getting the slow and then flashing over the wall, denying one last kill over to Easy Hoon. And yeah, you get the tier two, but that's Samsung, quite a few. But they're still looking at a pretty late five dragon stack. Yeah, Chump the Waters onto Bang. Crown actually committing too much to this fight, and he can't Q over the wall onto the ground. He has to playful trickster out, but Bengi's gonna pick up that kill, and Crown did go down onto Dragon, so SKT knows they're not there just yet. Meanwhile, Kube picked up tier two and top, and can he get away from this? He's charging up his movement speed, but Bengi's catching up with the damage, and he's just gonna keep going with his own movement speed. There's the Harpoon onto Kube. That's the end of that robotic pony. 
And we will have Samsung pick up their skills again. Right now, he needs a little bit Bangy. more oomph. And Bingy's going to get caught. There's a depth charge. And that should be an easy body slam. Jump the waters. And the burst coming in from Crown. That's a quick kill onto Bengi. He was pretty tanky, but he has that home guard advantage. But he's sitting in base for a long time. I mean, they're trying so hard to bait this out. Oh, and here comes Bengi. He's going to run right into the enemy team. And there's the shields from his ultimate, actually. That's pretty huge on four people. Petrifying Gaze onto three people. And Fury gets the kill onto Easy and Easy and down. Kuve goes in and chases Bang out of the fight. Fury has been exhausted, but he's going to use Summer to heal. He's trying to get out of it. And Crown forces everyone to run away. He gets another kill. And Kuve still locking up three people all on his own in the front. There's the hook back, giving another kill for Fury. And Samsung now walking towards the Baron pit. Now, that was a very long bait from Samsung, and their patience actually made it work. Eventually, Samsung deciding that they had to face check that objective. They get the true shot barrage, but Marin has no equalizer to actually finish this off bang very low. Yeah, Marin going in, they do just give the Baron over, and Chum the Water's not hitting, but Kube does not care. Ah, nice arcane shift over the wall. It's gonna save Bang's life. And Marin down from afar, he doesn't get the slow nor the true shot, or the true damage. And fifth dragon is up. Kube already going home to prep that home guard. And he could just come in a little bit earlier just to keep SKT distracted. But Samsung, oh, there we go. They were waiting for Kube and Marin sees him. So Kube just turns all the way around and gets onto Easy on Easy on in the way back. Crown does get completely zoned by the equalizer. But Kube's so strong. He's been exhausted. He's been petrifying Gaze. And he's still alive. There's the chump the waters onto Bengi. But they're distracted by Marin. A kill for Fury, a kill for Crown. That's two men down from SKT. The jungler also down, and it should be the fifth dragon. That's what Samsung really cares about about they don't need to chase the ace in this fight yeah and that was a really good fight it's not really going to get better for that then samsung just going to back out none of their initiates hit there's the equalizer just yeah. buying skt some time it, it does seem a little bit misled doesn't do the damage i mean samsung can still just go back that's an important ultimate use i mean if you use it on the entrance of the baron pit right now it'd be so much better but ben gets caught by the hook and there's the depth charge and there's the chump the waters onto wolf a quick kill for crown as kuve charges forward picks up a kill and zones easy hoon out of the entire fight the cassiopeia is missing in action as we see eve pick up another kill and samsung should be able to push through and finish the game. Yeah, they're looking for the kill right here. Kuve can just home guard back in. They don't want to give him a chance to die to the damage over time with a full health easy hoon. Instead, go for the inhibitor. They may just, we'll see if they try and finish or if they're actually going to turn. Looks like they are going to go for the kill. They do have those two sheens. Yeah, Cassiopeia doesn't have her ultimate either, so you just got to dodge those poison pools. And then crowd just styling on the turret a little bit. Victorious dance, Chum the Waters being used, trying for the kill onto Easy and Crown, hungry for more. Playful <laughs> Zonias right there, Explosives Cast being used as Fury finishes the game, and Samsung ties it up 1 1 against SKT, giving them their first loss in any one game. Yeah, well, I'm not going to say Samsung played that out beautifully because they didn't. <laughs> they did get a big advantage from the landing phase, and I think that due to some greedy itemization from SK Telecom, that they were able to take a win.